Good morning, YouTube. This is Rick, Black Rifle, from North Augusta, South Carolina. Well, I had to get up early this morning, about 6.30, and got outside with my laser bore sighter. I paced off 25 meters, or 25 yards, to a pine tree, and I tacked up this little hot... This is for your feet. These are feet warmers. Um, when you open a package, you need to really crush up that powder real good to get the heat going. And these last for about new ones the last six hours. But this is this thing's been in my backpack for four or five years. Um, I haven't used them. These are used to use these when I rode uh, motorcycles. Stick them in our gloves and stick them in your boots to warm it, warm yourself up but I don't ride no more so I carried them for hunting and I've really never used them because my insulated boots just did fine out there but you're not in the wind you know like you are on a bike anyway um, a foot warmer took a thumb tack tacked it to the tree like this let it at 25 yards look through the thermal scope put this guy in there and you won't be able to see the laser beam through the thermal scope you won't see it it'll be invisible so you gotta watch where the laser beam is put your crosshair on the center of this the black crosshair that's in there when you zero your thermal scope move the red crosshair to where the laser's hitting. You can see it. You look over the top of the scope, you can see where the laser is approximately. And just move the red over there, press OK, come out of that mode, then hold on the target dead center and look over the top of the scope. If the laser beam is hitting dead center of this, you're, you're zeroed. Um, Thermal scope's a bitch to zero. I found that out. There's a little learning curve there. But you can't just move the red crosshair to the laser beam. You got to put the black crosshair where the laser beam is hitting. And then move the red crosshair to where the laser beam is. So mine was low and to the right. So I moved low and to the right. Hit enter. Put it back on the target and it was still low so I brought it up a little bit hit enter held it on the target looked through the thermal scope had the crosshair dead center of this looked over the top and the laser was dead center so now I'm bore sighted for 25 yards so that's that's what you do to, to to get the uh, thermal sight zeroed. I also zeroed my laser uh, flashlight. That's on here also. And uh, like I said, bore sight. Bring the two red beams together on the target and you're bore sighted for 25 yards. So when you put that red beam on something at 25 yards, you're going to hit somewhere on the target. Okay, that's enough of that. Put that away. Now we're going to talk about the Sightmark Laser Bore Sighter. This one is for a 223. And um, let me get my chart here. Okay, YouTube, this is Brick back with you with the Sightmark Laser Bore Sighter in 223. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that fine writing. Anyway, you're going to need one of these. These are really good to have. I have a whole set. Um, 9mm 45, 357, 223, 308. 
7.62 by 39. Um, anyway, they work well. I used it to site my bore site my uh, my site uh, my um, Swamp Fox Patriot um, quick site red dot so to speak. It's a green dot, but anyway see green better than you do red during the day anyhow um, this calls for three AG3 batteries and they're little like watch batteries uh, hearing aid batteries uh, that go in here they last it lasts for an hour and that's all you get out of it you're lucky to get an hour out of it because they go fast okay the AG3 is compatible with the following batteries. Get your pencil and paper and write this down. The AG3 is compatible with the size 392, SR41, SR41W, LR41, I192. Oh, correction, that's 192, LR73 and AG3. Those are the compatible batteries. Again, I'll go through it. 392, SR41, SR41W, LR41, 192, LR73, and AG3. It takes three of them to power this laser. Um, one, you, you just Drop them in right to tip down. And then you screw on the cap and the light will come on. You put it in the, in the bore and uh, zero your uh, scope to where the, beam, the laser beam is hitting. Move your crosshair to it. And uh, I used the uh, black hot setting uh, this morning. And I found that the black hot in the light early morning in the light of day is uh, better during daytime and light time hours than it is uh, the white at, at night when it's total dark and pitch black so um, I used the uh, black hot setting and I zeroed to this uh, I had it stuck with a thumbtack like that in a tree pine tree 25 yards away so I sat down, put my laser beam on the target, looked through the scope, see where the scope was. It wasn't on the target. So I put the black crosshair on this, and I moved the crosshair to where the light laser beam was. And I got it zeroed. It took a couple of tries. Uh, it's not easy. It's not fun. The learning curve is a little different on thermal than it is on the... IR, uh, like the site mark Wraith, I can basically operate that blindfolded. This is a little more difficult as because you don't see like you do through a scope. It's just images and they're not well defined images during the daytime. But you can see the outlines of everything. So and you can look through vegetation with this. this that's what's nice about a, a uh, thermal site, looking through the vegetation. But again, you're going to need one of these. Uh, you got to zero, get it zeroed. I went to the range, used a whole box of ammo and wasn't even on paper at 25 yards. Couldn't tell where I was hitting or anything. So I finally came home and uh, got the laser bore sider out and said, well, I'm going to try and bore sight it. I looked through the scope, couldn't see the laser. I said, oh, crap. So I uh, went to the menu, did the zero, put the black X on the target, moved the red crosshairs to the uh, place where the laser beam was hitting and hit enter. And it brings it over and centers it up. And then I put a dead center of this. 
and the black X and the uh, red X were dead center. So I hit and held down the uh, OK button, and that takes you out of the uh, zero mode. And uh, everything is good to go. Everything's zeroed. So now I'll be able to go to the range and shoot two or three shots and zero my rifle. So I'll start at 25 yards because that's where I bore sighted at. So I started 25 yards, see where I am on the paper. I'll move the, keep the black crosshair on the center. And again, I use these. Tape this to a target, put it out there, and at 25 yards, and you should hit that center of it. Um, once you do that, then move it out to uh, not, uh, another 25 yards to 50 yards, and put one of these on it. and again fire your round see where it hits black crosshair on the target where your point of aim was the red crosshair to where the bullet struck and you'll be able to see that if you can't see it you have to walk out there when they call a ceasefire mark the thing with a little sticky and then come back and then move your crosshair over there um, but keeping the crosshair on the center of your hot hand or your thermal object. Tinfoil works. You can see it, but it's not as pronounced as these are. These are really light up nice. Yep. So I de wide eyed the uh, thermal target in the other video. So you might want to check that out. Anyway, this is Rick Black Rifle from North Augusta, South Carolina. Probably go to the range today and see if I could get zeroed so I can get out there and hunt with my thermal. I'm really looking forward to, you know, uh, nailing one of them hogs with my thermal. I've also got the um, 357 Magnum zeroed, but I only zeroed at 25 yards, so I left the range. It was hot. I was aggravated. Didn't have a zero on the thermal. I was all upset. But I finally got it on there, and um, we'll see what happens. It's too old and too hot. So you got to take a breath and Take a breather for a couple of days and don't worry about the small shit. You know, life's too short to worry about small stuff. This is Rick Black Rifle from North Augusta, South Carolina. Later.